from the sacred scrolls. Do good by your fellow human. Do good by each other. Strife should not be found among you, but a unity, which would make you the envy of all the races. Panthora rejoices with you. Sir Draven, the grand champion of the Knights of Alcoria, addressed the assembly before him. Today these dedicates are brought closer into her presence than any other warrior. His half-plate armor, heavily decorated with panther motifs in keeping with tradition, rested beneath a billowing gray cape embroidered with a profile of a golden panther's head. Clean-shaven and broad-shouldered, Sir Draven was in the prime of his life and embodied what one would expect in a man who led a noble, knightly order. Those whom he addressed shared the same fair skin with a range of platinum blonde to brown hair and lighter-colored eyes. More than a few of the men wore beards, with the knights in attendance clean-shaven as was the custom. The two-story square room in which they stood was large enough to allow all the occupants who'd come from across the Northlands parents of the dedicates and knights alike, to watch the thirty dedicates standing in front of the altar steps getting inducted into the knighthood. Above them, a bronze candelabra dangled from the ceiling. Its forest of white candles blazed with an abundance of light that illuminated all below in great detail. But it was the altar and the platform upon which it sat that held the most attention. Rowan Cortax stood with the rest of the dedicates, an hour earlier, the sandy-haired, blue-eyed Nordican had been standing atop the keep, looking out over the growing night sky and recollecting everything that had led him to this ceremony. 